Hey guys, welcome back to another garden video. Let's take a look at the tomato plants. Um, we still do have some that are curly in the leaf department and that's okay because they're growing. They're giving me tomatoes. Obviously none of them blush. Trust me, you will be the second to know as soon as one blushes, but the tomatoes are doing really good. So let's take a look at those really quick. All right, the Tommy toe. Verna sausage one, got a little bit of leaf curl on them. They could probably use some water to be honest. Verna sausage two. There's some more tomatoes coming in there. I keep getting birds in here, um, so they're stealing a lot of the baby foods that we had. Oh, there it is. So there's the first Verna sausage back there. Chocolate cherry. The sun gold. Which we should be seeing some tomatoes on it here shortly. The blue cream, which has definitely gotten much bigger. The blueberry, which has also definitely gotten much bigger. Well, I wouldn't say bigger, but bushier. Has definitely gotten bushier. And then the black semen, which is also doing really good and getting some suckers on it. Tessa's Land Race Current. I believe we got some current tomatoes on here. Yeah. Right down here. A tiny little tomato. Looks like we got it. A massive sucker situation going on here unless it's the top of the plant I don't know what it's doing I'll have to assess that the pink ox heart which is giving off just these massive blooms the Wisconsin Beach which is also doing really good I don't think this one has any tomatoes on it yet oh yep it's got one Coming in the very back there, let's see if you can see it. Berries Crazy Cherry, which, I mean, just look at these flower clusters. Sorry about the awful audio, I know that my mic doesn't work because it's not omnidirectional, so when I'm behind the camera like this, you can't hear me. But when I unplug it, it seems to always get windy like this. Which I'm sure sounds like utter crap. to give this cosmos plant a stick so it can be supported. Are you done, Montana? Jesus. Okay, anyways. Huge clusters on this. When I, when I had initially bagged it, it was the entire thing, and that's how tiny it was, and then it started to grow inside the bag and get really grumpy. So you do have to keep an eye on them because sometimes they'll give off leaves and they'll you just yeah they'll fill up the bags pretty quick and got to be careful with that the sweetie tomato which is already starting to grow a bunch of tomatoes right off the bat it is pretty awesome this tomato is starting to look better so you've got this cluster down here that cluster up there and that cluster down there so it's doing, in retrospect, pretty good, as, especially since this is one of the ones that had the massive leaf curl on it. This is the Japanese black trifel. Um, it does not have any tomatoes on it yet. But I do want to point out, look at how thick their stalks are. That is really, really awesome. And this comes from shaking them when they're in the little pots 
in the greenhouse. This is why you shake them, to give them these nice beefy stalks. This is the Wagner Blue Green and it's still very, very curly. It does have some blooms over here and some blooms over here, but no tomatoes yet. And then the Subarctic Plenty, which I don't see a bag on it. So yeah, it's finally starting to give me tomatoes as well. And my battery is gonna die. I am sad to announce that the cucumber plant is definitely not going to survive and the cucumber that was on it is starting to get blossom and rot. So I'm gonna leave it there because that's just the person I am. It's the end of the, the cucumber. What I told you guys that I cannot grow these to save my fucking soul. I don't know why, but I cannot grow cucumbers. On the bright side though, I don't know if you've noticed, but all of my marigolds have started to bloom. Not the French whites though. I can't get those ones to even come to seed. So the candy onions are doing all right. They're starting to finally get some decent stalks to them. And they're, they're bobbing pretty early, so I can't complain on that. I actually need to come through and dig around them. Don't mind my raspberry bush that is popping up in my tomato bed. And then my Walla Wallas. Um, you know they're not doing so hot, which is sad because I actually quite enjoy Walla Wallas. We got a couple here and there, but most of them have died. So I, I guess that just is what it is. I hope the candy onions are good. The golden sweet peas that are behind me are doing so good and they're actually really, really tasty. I think they're definite winners for future gardens to come because they're amazing. They're growing really well. And again, they just taste great. So I like them. However, the snap pea is not doing so good at all. I mean, he's turning crunchy like he doesn't have enough water, which today might be accurate, but I've watered him so much that you think he would shrivel up and die from too much water. So I don't know what's wrong with him. In fact, he is so sad and falling apart on me that I planted backups. I went to the box store and literally bought snap peas to replace him with. And I got some bunching onions planted in between the beans here. The dragon tongue bean is doing good. And the scarlet runner bean is also doing pretty damn good. It's finally starting to grow. <laughs> so the jelly melon had stopped growing there for a little while and his leaves started to die back, but he just now has started to um, come back to life. And I am a firm believer that when they start to trellis, they're happy and healthy. Some more marigolds. The honeydew, same thing. Foliage all started to die back. Um, he had some, some flowers, but they died off and he stopped trellising and I don't think he's gonna come back. This is one of the peas that I bought to replace the other ones that are failing. My lemon cucumber has stopped growing, but look at the amount of flowers that this thing is just loaded. Um, hopefully it'll try to start trellising again and grow some more flowers and that's just not it. I do see a new trellis tendril here. So I don't know what it is with my summer plants. Maybe it was still too cold for them or too wet for them. And they just, they all had it, tissues. Here's the second pea that I bought to replace our failure one. And then the Mexican gherkin. The Mexican gherkin had a flower on it and it was growing a gherkin, but a bird got in here and then my gherkin disappeared. But this guy has not started growing again. In fact, all of his tendrils have died off. His leaves are starting to die off. Um, he's just not doing good. He hasn't been doing good at all. And I, I gave up on him, to be honest, which is why I planted a pea right here. I got slightly concerned one day when I came out here because my broccoli plant had like curled up on itself. But then I realized it's because it's finally giving me a damn head, which I will gently pull back some of these for you to see. I'm assuming you can see in there because I can't. So he's finally giving me a broccoli head and I'm super excited about that. This is the yellow squash and he's getting new foliage. Starting to do much, much better than he was. This is the white scallop squash. And not only do I have a baby scallop squash on there, I actually have a couple baby scallop squash, but he's just doing really, really well. Another marigold. 
And you see what I see? I see a bell pepper. So this is the second one that I planted and this is the first one that I planted. And this one is also gonna be giving me bell peppers here very shortly. Doing pretty damn good. The celery is still doing awesome. The kale looks like it has taken over. Doesn't it just look like a really gorgeous flower sitting like that though? And then here is the scarlet kale. Also doing really, really good. The mini bells and the banana peppers. I haven't done diddly squat. Oh, wait, I take that back. This tiny little guy has got a flower right here. So he's gonna try and give me a pepper, but that's about it. I did not know that broccoli plant was gonna get so big and I'm so happy I planted it on a corner like I did. Looks to me like a pretty perfect strawberry. And of course, while I was at the store, I bought more squashes because I pulled all the garlics finally. So here is a, this is crookneck and that is also crookneck. So both of those are crookneck squashes to replace the MI Gardener garlic we had there. The beets, the carrots, the unflowering bush, the more beets. That is a type of squash. I wanna say that's a winter squash. I don't have a tag for it, so I don't remember. Like, a, I don't remember what kind of squash it was. We'll find out. This is a butternut, baby butternut squash. And this is the other banana pepper. So of all the summer plants that didn't get affected by the transplanting was the Kiku chrysanthemum melon. Um, it didn't really stop growing, but it didn't really excel at growing either. It has given me quite a handful of flowers and I'm pretty sure that this plant grows along the ground. I'm not 100% positive. I don't think I need to stake it or anything. I mean, I have them sitting up like this, but I don't know if that's how he's supposed to be. So he's just kind of hanging out. Haven't had any problems with him though. A couple of his original leaves have passed, but all the rest of his new growth is fine and happy. So these guys are the okras and they're finally starting to show some change. I'm elated about that. I mean, I just, I just wanna try some okra, damn it. <laughs> and then of course, this is the shishito pepper plant and he's doing really good. Gonna be bearing me some peppers here shortly and I'm excited about that. Also some, some more green onions because I just can never have enough of them. The eggplant hasn't done a damn thing. So I guarantee you it, it's too late. Like there's no way I'm gonna have eggplants this year and I'm pretty pissed off about it, but it is what it is. So we finally figured out what this bush is. It's a peonia bush, which is nice. And the first sunflower is finally starting to grow ahead. Yay. So the dead nettle is being a pain in my ass because it fucking won't stop growing. Tiger lilies are doing good. That poppy never gave me anything. This guy is just, we won't even go there with this one. Remember how I was super happy that I was gonna get the asters growing in this, this bed here? They're poppies. Every last one of these motherfuckers is poppies self-seeded from last year, except for the cosmos I direct sowed. So none of my asters came up. It is fucking poppies, which I don't mind poppies. Poppies are actually my favorite flowers, but I wanted to see an aster. The neglected bell pepper plant is still doing its thing. Could probably use some water, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. There's a pretty good sized pepper on them. I'm trying for the third time to get the moonflowers to come up. Stupid moonflowers. All the mints and basils. Now this may sound familiar to you, but you guys remember when I was super excited about growing fruit smoothie zinnias in this bed? They're all bachelor buttons. Every last one of these motherfuckers is a bachelor button. Self-sewn from last year. <sighs> I, just, I just wanted some fruit smoothie zinnias. Well, except for the Black King pansies, but we knew they were there. In here, somewhere, and it looks like the nieces and nephews threw balls around today and they might have destroyed a few things. 
there's a lily in there. Oh, and my moms are making such a good comeback. It's laughable actually that they even died back so good. I don't even think you can barely see the dead foliage in there. Same with that one. That one's a little easier to see the dead foliage, but you yeah, know, they came back like a beast. The morning glories are doing all right. Bleeding heart bush is doing all right. English ivy is doing all right. So the Swiss chard, and this is the solar flare lettuce, and then the black seeded Simpson. I had still not enough lettuce, so I planted more of the sol sorry, I planted more of the solar flare and sowed more solar flare and also new fire red. Again, solar flare and black seeded Simpson. New fire red. New fire red and new fire red. The shaded plants are doing pretty good. I mean, obviously the lilies aren't meant to be here. <laughs> I have to, to hold them up because they're seeking the sun so bad. They will get planted somewhere else this fall. But the Irish moss and the coral palace stuff is doing good. The English moss isn't. The tiger lilies though, I don't know why the partial shade ones have bloomed well before the ones that get more sun have, but they're they're happy over here and I will leave them to it. Look at those gorgeous lilies though. It's one of the apricot lemonade cosmos is starting to bloom. Yay! And I did not know that nastrum, I think that's how you say that, gets that big. I didn't know that at all. That's nuts, like lily pad size. But look at how pretty the little flowers are. It's totally got this tropical vibe. Hopefully the zinnias and the cosmos that's in there are going to be okay because I, I planted them all too much. But it's pretty cute like that, right?